Hi, this is Monica, and welcome back to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. And today, we're going to get into some of the events that happened this week. It's the stuff that I just needed to get off of my chest to make me feel better. And I just, I don't think that people talk enough on a channel and let people know exactly what's going on or how to handle and stuff. But just like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into this next video. Hey, welcome back to this channel. Now, earlier part of this week, I had got my first sponsorship. Yes, I got my first sponsorship, and it's D T L E Y E Contacts. And they sent me, they sent me like three pair of contact lenses, and I was showing them, and this, that, and the third. But people didn't believe that I got the sponsorship, and it wasn't that. And I don't think it was that people didn't believe it. I just think people was in denial that I had actually got it. So, I'm going to show y'all that. Okay, before we get to the deals that I got at Family Dollar and Dollar Tree, I told y'all earlier about a contact lens company named DTLEYE. -E. Now, these color contacts that I have on are purple and gold. Look at these because the hair is purple. It's going down. Okay, but see, when I went on the website, I seen that they had a, a they was running a sale for Christmas. And you could get them in four to six business, four to, yeah, two to four. I think it's like two to four business days that you can get these. But look at these. Girl, bye. Go get these. And use the code, use the code Monica10 at checkout, and you will get an additional thing off. Girl, listen, this is my first sponsorship. Y'all got to go get these contact lenses. Use 10 Monica at D-T-L-E-Y contact lenses. And look at these. I'm going to show you their website. So when they seen the sponsorship that I got, they actually was like, oh, okay, Monica. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, okay. That's cute. But they never congratulated me on it, which was fine with me because I don't have a point to prove. I don't have a point to prove to nobody because I made up my mind in June of 2015 that nothing and nobody was going to stop me. So I just took it upon myself. I made the video. I'm selling the contact lists. If you you check out a contact, if you check out when you check out, you get ten percent off or some old percentage off if you use Monica Ten at checkout. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> nevertheless, this is what I did. So I'm feeling kind of good about myself or whatever the case may be. I go to my second job. Now, when I get to my second job, I get a phone call from a doctor's office, and I get this phone call from the doctor's office, and this when I say. The receptionist or the, what is she, a medical assistant, was so rude and catty to me and talked down to me, boy, by the time I got to that office, I'm going to show y'all what happened. So instead of this girl listening to me, she took it up on herself to tell me, oh, well, uh, she can't waver nothing for you, and this, 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 that, and this, third, and this, that, and third. I'm steadily telling her, like, ma'am, all I'm telling you is that this lady at the other office, she called me. For me to come in and sign some kind of papers or something like this. She like, well, you owe this and this, this, that, and third, and da, 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 whoop, -de -whoop -de -bop. I don't know. I'm ready to kill her. Okay. So, time goes on. I get off the phone with them. I call them back to the main office. I tell her, like, hey, the next time y'all need to relay a message to the other office, make sure you check with them first. Because the customer service that I just got, that ain't going to work for me. The lady like, ma'am, I'm going to call over there. I'm going to send the district manager. Whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop. Okay, yeah, I'm mad. Okay, so I call back over there. I tell her, I get off at 3 o'clock tomorrow. I'll be in to sign the papers. See, what she thought was that I had forgot. What she thought was that I wasn't going to hand to her behind in 33 seconds or less. What she thought was that I was some type of punk bitch and I wasn't going to chew her out. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay, so today... I get a phone call, district manager. Man, we talked to her and did that and then whoop de bop, scoop de bop, all this crazy stuff. Still ain't gonna save her. Okay. I get off at three. My husband called, baby. I ain't got no bail money to get you out. Please don't go up to that thing and act crazy because I already know what you get ready to do. I was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna act crazy. Mm -mm. I'm not an asshole. I ain't gonna do asshole shit. But I was. Whole asshole. So this is what I did. Got off. Went to, got to the doctor's appointment. 
got up there and walked in. The lady, hi, how are you? I'm like, fine, how are you? She like, fine. I said, okay. Went to the window. I said, hey, can I speak to Taylor? I said, I'm here to see Taylor. She was like, hi, I'm Taylor. I was like, hey, I'm Monica. Let's finish the conversation that me and you had on the phone yesterday. See, because at the end of the day, you kept getting smart and talking stuff to me. Now we face to face. Now there's nothing that we ain't on the phone. Now let's talk. She got out of her chair and ran behind the door and pulled the door. Not hide behind the door. She got in the creature of the corner of the door and wouldn't come out. So I talked loud enough for her to hear me because, see, I had to say it loud enough for the bitch in the back. Okay, don't you ever disrespect me again. Don't you call my phone talking that shit to me like I wasn't going to reach through that. Girl, this you go, well, Miss King, Miss King, your ass, okay? I don't want to talk to nobody else until I talk to Taylor. Not only will she apologize, but she's going to apologize in my face because that's when you did it. Okay, so when I um, reamed her, and handed her behind in 10 seconds or less, she cut it out. And I'm going to tell you why. Because, see, people don't talk about the stuff that they really need to talk about. They don't even express how they need to express stuff. What they do is they sugarcoat it. They put sugar on top of shit, and they sugarcoat it. I'm not the sugarcoating type. I'm not Willy Wonka. I'm not getting ready to sugarcoat it. I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel. So, at the end of the day, when this girl did this, I, chew I, didn't I wasn't a professional. But I chewed her out like I supposed to have did and I left it just as that. I didn't want her to lose her job. I want her to understand that I am a customer. And I, I, by me working in a hospital, I know how what kind of etiquette you're supposed to have. So was I going to sit there and let her allow, allow her to do it? No, I was not. So after I had did this little stuff with this old heifer at this damn doctor's office, then I turned around and I came home. And I started reworking on my beauty room. Like right now, if you y'all can only see what's the basics. But it's tore apart. Mm -hmm. It's tore apart. It's, it's stuff strolled everywhere. But I'm getting it cleaned up because I reorganized it by my new desk and stuff like this. That's another thing. I have been watching on YouTube lately that people have been doing their beauty rooms. Which I get. I get. I'm a woman. I get in my feelings about stuff, that nice stuff that people have. And I want the same thing, but I don't have the same income that they have. So by me working two jobs, I still got to... Uh, Rob Peter to pay Paul. I still got to make a way for me to survive. I got to still be able to make it, but I have to please myself. See, that's what people fail to realize is some people are actually doing this shit to please themselves. Not other people. They're not trying to get the biggest house. They're not trying to have the biggest car. They're not trying to be the next person. They try to be themselves. But see, that's me. I'm not getting ready to sit up on here and tell y'all a bunch of BS about what I think I'm going to do, how I think I'm going to make it, or how this person feels about me. I can give a damn how you feel about me. I can give a damn what you feel. I can give a damn about your opinion of me. Because at the end of the day, if it's not making me no money, it ain't making me no sense. So therefore, I'm not getting ready to sit up. I'm organizing my primers right now. So you have to excuse me. And I don't, because people have been making like little comments and stuff like about me doing YouTube and about my TikToks and about, let me raise this up, <clears throat> about my TikToks, about my YouTube channel, about, let me tell you what pissed me off. I'm going to tell you exactly what pissed me off. And I'm going to tell you why it pissed me off. You see these purses? See them purses? Never not once did I come up here and tell y'all, oh, they real, this is this. The first thing came out my mouth was that they was designer inspired bags. No matter what nobody says, if I walk down the street with my purse, somebody gonna stop me and say, oh my God, that is a nice ass purse. They don't say, well, Monica, that's not a real purse. That I don't nobody get that kind of money. And I'm not trying to live like the Joneses. I'm not trying to confirm to what everybody else, I've said it before. How can you love somebody else if you can't love yourself? So yes, I don't have no filter when it comes to being honest and being open on this here channel, on this platform, does it not, do I matter, does it matter what I have or what I drive? No. Does it matter where I live or how I live? No. What does it, what it, what matters is that this is my channel and I do what I want to, when I want to and how I want to on this platform. And I, from day one, if you follow me, I have never changed. 
I'm not going to change. I don't feel like I should have to. Why should I have to change? Why? I don't see nobody out here trying to trying to say, oh, okay, well, I'm going I'm to go ahead and I'm going to do this and that and other. I'm not. I'm not. If I can get it at a cheaper price, that's what I'm going to do. If I can, if I can, <clears throat> if I have to repaint it or restain it or something like that, then that's what the hell I'm going to do because it's mine. I don't have to have the same shit that everybody else have. I don't have to be out here wearing the same clothes that everybody else have. I don't. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong at all. Some of these young girls on here, honey, can come out the closet, can come out of the closet with the clothes. I mean, when I say come out the closet, baby, I'm totally inspired by that. But uh, what I don't get inspired by is being a, an identical twin to somebody or being what somebody else want me to be. See, since I got older, I have learned how to shut it down. And when I say I shut it down, I shut it all the way down. Because what somebody else think of me, I can't take their feelings to DPNL and pay not one bill with your feelings. So why do I care? When I can get a receipt for how somebody feels about me and pay an actual bill with it, then I will give a damn. But at this point in the game, I don't. That brings me to the next point. My next point is I woke up this, well, last night. Me and my, my husband was downstairs in the man cave working because my husband makes cups. And when we was working, my husband got a phone call. And in this phone call, my uh, the person on the phone told my husband that a family member of mine had passed. When they told my husband that this family member had passed, I stopped what I was doing. And my husband stopped what, what she was doing. And we shut the house down and we went to bed. Me not knowing that all of a sudden my right side had got tight. My chest had got tight. My back, my arm, I could barely move my arms. My back had got tight and I was sweaty. And I was like sore all over and I couldn't breathe. When I say I couldn't breathe, I could not breathe. Well, by me not thinking like this is an anxiety attack, I started panicking like, if I don't get any better, I'm going to the hospital. I fell asleep with my nebulizer on. Thinking that because this my the person that passed, my family member that passed, passed of COVID. And by me thinking like, oh my God, she passed the COVID and this, this, that, and the third, um, I got scared. And when I got scared, I thought to myself, Monica, don't fall asleep. I kept thinking, Monica, don't fall asleep. The reason why I kept saying, Monica, don't fall asleep is because I was scared. And people, as people get on here, <coughs> do clothing hauls, hair hauls, strips, dips, all this shit, and all this other stuff. But what they don't talk about is real laugh shit. I was scared, and I'm not afraid to say it. I was scared because I thought I was going to die. I didn't know what was wrong with me. I didn't know why my body had locked up. I don't know why I couldn't breathe, but my chest kept getting tighter and tighter and tighter. Come to find out it was an anxiety attack. Because when I got up this morning, my body was sore like I had failed. My body was sore, my head hurt, and this and this because I thought I, because it was an anxiety attack. I was talking to my best friend this morning. And we was talking because when I say that my family member had passed, my family member passed last night. My family member passed last night. And <coughs> she was crying. My best friend was crying. And I was telling her, I said, don't cry. So in order to get her to stop crying, we started talking. And when we started talking, we was talking about stuff that was happening. Stuff that happened with us, you know, when we was older, when we was younger, like now and then and stuff like this. And she was saying to me, she said, Monica, she said, nobody has ever just said I did a good job. She was like, people was more happy when I was sad and depressed than they are when I'm at my best. I said, why you say that? She was like, because it's the truth. She said, people, people can't wait to say something bad about me. She said, but they never say anything good about me. I said, you know what? I said, you know what, Gene? I said, you are absolutely correct. I said, I don't know, baby, why they can't talk about you in the right kind of way. I said, I don't know why, but you know what you did? You are happy. My best friend of 32 years, one day she packed up all her stuff and she moved out of town. And this was recent. She moved, I think, three months ago. 
And when she moved three months ago, it hurt my soul. Even though I didn't tell her that it hurt me. I, 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 where I messed up at is when you have a best friend, you are supposed to be able to open up to your best friend and tell them exactly what's going on with you. And I didn't do that. Instead, I pretended like I was okay with her leaving. And I wasn't. Because a week ago, me and her, she had left here. She had came down here to see her kids and her grandkids. And then she up popped and she left. But when she left, it hurt my feelings because she didn't say bye. So, of course, me and her pass words like we always do. Because that's what best friends do. We pass words <clears throat> mainly about her leaving and not telling me. We pass words. And we was talking about it. And she was like, Monica... You have always just been my best friend. And I told her, I said, I am always going to be your best friend, but it hurt my feelings when you left here. And I was being selfish is what I was doing. I was being selfish. I was being selfish because I wanted her to stay. I was being selfish because she had moved on. I was being selfish and not looking at the fact that this is my very best friend. And she decided to move on because what she, even though her grandkids and her kids are here, she had nothing else that she was here for. She had nothing else to look back on. So we was talking about some of the things that had went on in our lives and how we have changed for the better. And which we have. But I don't think that people understand that. When you are meant to move forward, you leave all that stuff back there with them purses. You leave all that stuff back there with the purses because... Nobody is going to congratulate you. That's what people won't tell you. Nobody will congratulate you. I watch everybody's video on here. And it's only one of my people that I'm subscribed to have subscribed to me back. And that is Rita Role Model. She's the only one that all here that has subscribed back to me. And that's okay. And I'm fine with that. I am fine with that. Because people make fun of what I do. People make fun. But if you go on my TikTok, if you go to my TikTok, I have almost 100,000. I have over 100,000 uh, followers. And I have like 3.9 million people or 2.9 million people. Someone, something, something like that. 2.9 million likes or something like this. But I can go to Facebook and I can post a picture. I have over 4,000 people that actually is my friend on Facebook. And I'll get 93 likes, 110 likes. That shows you right there. You know what that shows you? They don't support you. People that's in your life, they'll look at your shit and they will not support you. So I don't know why I thought that, I don't know why I thought that this was going to change when I got on YouTube. When I, I, I don't know why I thought that shit was going to get better when I got on YouTube. It didn't. It didn't. All I need now is like under three, under 300 watch time hours to have my 4,000 hours. And I'm fighting for that. But I'd rather fight at the bottom of the food chain than kiss somebody's ass to rise up. I will not do it. When people find out that I'm on social media and I do social media and this and that and the other and I have a YouTube channel and I have a TikTok and all this other stuff. I do makeup on Instagram and all this other stuff. They don't support you. People you see every day, they won't support you because they want you to fail. And the only way you won't fail is you believe in your own damn self. I believe in me. I, I don't need nobody to tell me that they believe in me because I believe in me. I believe that I'm going to make it. I know I'm going to make it. I know. You know how I know I'm going to make it? Because I'm not going to stop. Whether it's today or two days from now or a month from now or whenever it is going to be, I'm going to get every requirement that I need on my channel in order for it to succeed. And when it takes off, it's going to take off. Not when it takes off, it's going to take off. And as soon as it takes off, I'm going to keep going because I fought this long and this hard to get this far. I am not going to let something that somebody else's opinion that don't pay not now bill in this house Say to me, the way that I survive, and I'm gonna be, and I, once again, I'm being very honest. The way that I survive, my checks at my at the hospital pays my bills. Every bill I have, my little job buys me makeup, keeps my car running, and gas and stuff in my car. I don't fake the funk to try to 
look like everybody else or I don't live paycheck to paycheck. I live paycheck to paycheck. I do. And I'm not ashamed of that. Then people were saying stuff like, Monica, why do you tell people how much you weighed? Why do you say that? Why do you tell people how much you weighed? Because that's how much I weighed because I was eating good. That's why. That's why. Monica, why did you, um, you be telling people that you, um, that you gay or you tell, I, uh, 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 that's another thing. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 ma'am. I am not gay. I'm not happy all the time. Don't label me. Just because me and my husband got some stuff a sip that's similar, we are totally different. Where I am super girly, my husband is not. Where I am super feminine, my husband is not. But I don't have to explain anything to them or anybody else. Especially not the bitches in the back. Back there. I'm not explain it to them. I don't owe them nothing. Just, there it is. That's the key to life. Stop kissing people's ass to get somewhere. I'm not going to do it. So if it takes for me this month, the next month, or the other month to get to 4,000 views, that's what I'm going to do. I would rather work hard at doing it without having to show my boobs, pull out my butt, and stuff like this. I don't have to do that. I am 51. That just, just because I'm 51, that doesn't mean I'm not a diva because I am. And can't nobody tell me no different. Can't not one person tell me no different. You can't tell me no different. Just because I'm not light-skinned, you can't tell me that I'm not pretty. You can't tell me that. Just because my nose is not slim, you can't tell me that. You can't tell me that. So I think I came on here just to vent because, A, my family member passed this morning, last night. And I'm kind of like messed up behind that. But B, I don't have to confirm to nothing that nothing or nobody, and I won't. I'm not going to, I'm not, I, I, I can't see myself doing it. So I think I just got on here because just like I told y'all before, I don't hang out with a lot of people. I don't, you, you never see, the only people that you normally see on my channel with me is either my friends or my best friend or something like this. But other than that, you don't see a lot of people all up in my, all up in my face, all up in my business. You don't. Because when you have a cluster of people, a person told me a long time ago, if you hang out with drunks, you become a drunk. If you hang out with broke people, you become broke. But if you hang out with millionaires, what are you going to become? A millionaire. So just like I said, I think I just came on here because I am tired of seeing people sit up and sugarcoat it or fake the funk or whatever you want to call it and think that's all right. It's not, or have their opinion on something that don't have anything to do with them. So this is the reason why you never see negative comments on my page because I block them. Mm -hmm. If you do something that I don't like, I, uh, blocked. If you do something that, if you're on my phone doing something that I told you not to do, blocked. If you do something that I don't like, I have, I, the reason why I'm the way I am about that is because <clears throat> my sister passed in, in 2015, June 26, 2015, my sister passed. When I had to turn my back and walk away from the person that I love the most and leave her at a cemetery, I could walk away from anybody. The rest of everybody is a done deal. I don't have to explain it. I'm not going to explain it. I'm not going to explain it. I'm not going to confirm to it. I'm not doing none of that. None of the above will I do. Because I don't have to. And the reason why I don't have to is because I don't want to. So if people would normalize just manning your own business, life would be so much better. If people just normalize Minding their own business. Minding the business that pay them. People so busy get, get in their feelings about when people tell them to mind their business. They get in their feelings because they have to put touch their nose and mind their own business. When people don't got business of their own, they always is somebody else's. Get the fuck out of everybody else's business. 
Find business of your own. It's women out here. And I, I don't, and it's upsetting to me because I work hard at my jobs, both of them. And I also work hard at this, but this is a hobby for me. I make my money other places. God knows I wouldn't mind not having to work so hard, but until I make it, until when I make it, and I'm going to make it. I will work hard for what I want. I will work hard for what I need. I will make, I will work hard to make sure that me and my family makes it. It's women that live in the city where I live at that have made comments like, Monica, I don't know why you got a social, why you all over TikTok or why you all over this, this, that, and the third. Because you're not doing it. If you can't look back, on your life, look, go back, go back five years. And if you are still doing the same thing that you did five years ago, you're not doing anything. So when you can change your life, then I will listen to you. But if you're doing the same shit, girl, bye, my girl, go away. Because if you're doing the same thing you started out doing, you're not doing nothing. You're not doing absolutely nothing. So like I said, I just came on here to actually to vent. I really did. I came on here to vent because it's, I'm irritated. I'm irritated, agitated. I'm all irritated. But I just wanted people to know that it's not normal to hate on somebody. It's not normal to just be mean or just be in people's business or not having business of your own. So just like I said, I just came on here to kind of vent because I got a lot of shit on my mind right now. Just like I said, my family member just died last night. And last night was Saturday night. Today is Sunday. And um, I just got a lot on my mind. I think her death just showed me that I have no other choice but to move forward. I have no other choice but to move forward. I can't not, I can't let people stop me. If I let people's opinions stop me, then all this was for nothing. So just like I said, like, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.